Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. I would like to add some sound to our game and this is quite easy with our Corgi engine and uh, therefore I would like to start right away with the prefab so we have our player. So the Fox player, let's open that in prefab, as you remember we have different abilities so let's do one for jump yeah so when we have here our jump ability you see there are a lot of things which you can configure how many jumps you have uh, the height and so on which you can tweak a little bit around to get the right feeling for your game and there is something which is called the air jump and the feedbacks and this expects one mm feedback so more mountain feedbacks which comes as a little gift when you buy the corgi engine so it means whatever i want this character to do when he jumps i can add it with this mm feedbacks so best is if i show you that so you go to your fox character and create an empty game object and you name that jump feedback okay so now you have an empty object called jump feedback and you need to add a component and if you type feedback you see the mm feedbacks here so choose that one now this is just the start of it because from here on you can add the different things you would like to add as um, as a feedback so in this case I would like to have a corgi engine sound so it means I can play a sound as you remember we have here under the Corgi engine we have the common and the prefabs and we have some sounds which we can use and we have here the jump wolf so let's move that in here okay so that's it so now we have configured under our Fox prefab a feedback which uh, uses now this sound let's go back to our fox character and now we need to move this jump it feedback to the ability feedback okay I think this should work let's try that oh I hope you can hear that Okay, now I would like to make another sound when he lands. So therefore I will have a new empty object and have ground feedback. And again, just adding the MM feedbacks and adding sounds to it. So the Corgi engine sound and we have, I think, this low thump. Oh, if you are not sure, you can just click in here and check if that's the right sound you would like to add. And it is. So let's go now back to our Fox character. And we have here under the horizontal movement, we have touching the ground so I can now take this ground feedback and move it in here and save it so I think I will add a little bit of sound to it so that you can hear that perfect so there is a lot to cover in here with MM feedbacks, so it's impossible to cover it 
in this tutorial. I will just add another one and will point you to the tutorials of more mountain. So let's add something else, a little camera shake when he lands. So here under the ground feedback you have seen I have the possibility to add a new feedback and here I have the camera shake durations in seconds so okay so these numbers at the moment even if I know what they mean I cannot feel them so there is a small trick for that you need to play and then you can here initialize and let's go in here uh, you can play here the sound okay you almost cannot hear it but um, you can play it in here or you can also see what's happening here with the camera shake so it is almost not existent in here so I will change that let's say duration 0 0.5 and if I play that now you see a little bit the camera shake and amplitude let's go for one and then you can play okay and maybe the frequency I don't know I don't know what's what's better let's put 80 so double the number so that you can feel it uh, I didn't really feel a thing but uh, that somehow feels alright okay so that means when he lands I can now play all of them then you will hear the sound and the movement yes so that's what I want so when I want to play now then we should hear and see the camera shake. It's very, very slow, very subtle. Very well. So, and you can look into it because there is a lot of things and uh, particles. If you want that um, when he lands, he gives a little bit of dust and, and that makes the the game a lot more smoother and realistic you you have more information which would make it cool so please check that so I think now we are almost finished there is only one thing which I really miss at the moment and that's music so I have created here a folder and I have copied an mp3 so the music there are well if you have talent do your own thing there are also um, tools like audacity which you can make your own sounds you can cry in a in a microphone and uh, hide the pitch or go down and and play around and make some effects but um, in my case I went here to freemusicarchive.org I found a song that I liked from Mr. Lobo Loco. I have read carefully the Creative Commons license to make sure that I am able to use this music in my game. And I have covered that at the moment, so I'm able to use it. You remember when we had our game manager we had also the sound manager in it so this makes sure that you can use your music uh, you can also under the level manager you are able to go to background music or sorry add a component called background music and you can just move your sound clip in here so if I play okay I decided to do a small bonus here and 
the next thing which I think is missing is to get some points or some coins or something like that. We have here under Sunnyland we have sprites and items and we have here the cherries and we have here the gems. So let's take the gems and create one object. Oh, I almost forgot. It was too small. Remember the pixels per unit? I almost forgot my own rule. So 16. Now we move it in here and we create an animation for it. So Okay, let's it's shining. Yes, okay. So now we have our gem in here. And now we want that when our player catches him that we get some points. So there is a Corgi engine script again which is called coin. So again you can set here some things. The important one here is I would like to have 1000 points if I get the gem and maybe if I get the cherry it's only 10 and that it's disabled when I pick him so he goes away that's okay but in order um, to have a collision detected I need a collider else our player cannot interact with it so I have a collider 2D uh, let's take a box collider now come on let's do a circle collider this time and we shrink it about here okay that should be enough let's try that and we have 1000 very well um, so we had now 1000 let's Okay. But I missed that uh, small sound that it gets when you get a coin, this instant gratification sound. So let's add that. Again, like we did with the feedbacks, I will create an empty object which is called gem feedback. And I will add in the MM feedbacks logic, adding again the Corgi engine sounds. I will go here to the Corgi engine, to the prefab sounds, and I think I have one here. Coin 04. Woo, that was loud. But. I will take that. So again to the gem feedback. I move that in here. I save that and move the gem feedback to the pick feedback. So when he picks it, he will play the feedbacks which is actually just at the moment one sound and he adds 1000 points okay great well uh, the, the next thing you can do is now take that and put it in here as a prefab so that you can instantiate as much objects as you want and uh, maybe add the cherry with the same logic a little bit less 
uh, value than the, those ones and make those a little bit um, rarer than the others. Maybe, maybe you want to add to the prefabs um, that this gets also some points when you kill them. You can add such things in here as I showed you more or less. Go over the different um, configurations that you can do and then you see points when destroyed. You can say, well, if I kill one of them, he gets me 100 points and then you can start to make a very cool game. So, my dear friends, uh, that was my Corgi Engine tutorials for beginners. I think everything else which I can tell you now would be a little bit too much, so the series will stop now. Thank you very much for all of you which have been looking into those tutorials. I really enjoyed it to make them. And, um, well, subscribe and leave me comments if you like to have maybe a second tutorial or maybe some in-depth tutorials about uh, different abilities or maybe parallax effect or something like that. But for now, thank you very much and enjoy your journey. Bye.